Hi everyone, my name is Lurch Donkey and today we're back on the RTS project. So before we start, there's a few little things that have just changed um, since the last video. So if you remember in the last one, we were kind of having issues lining up the center and the basic unit. It didn't quite look right. Um, there was something weird going on, but uh, I've sorted it out. Basically you want to set the center, sprite tile center, the origin to be the middle center. And we had that like that before but for the sprite basic unit you want to have it in the bottom center so in between his legs and that means that when you run it that's the wrong one if you run it normally he gets placed right in the middle um, and he stood upright um, and it kind of looks normal it looks all right there um, so you may have noticed as well uh, i made the room slightly bigger i'll show you exactly i went into room room properties open this bit up here uh, I then doubled the width doubled the height and I did some more tiles in or some more sprites um, into the assets layer of course uh, just to make it a little bit bigger and a little bit more impressive um, but anyway what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding some movement to our little unit so our little units are well and good but it, we can move so we're gonna make it so when you click on one of these tiles it moves into that tile. Now the way we're going to do this is because these aren't actual objects, we don't know which tile we're clicking on. What we're going to do is we're going to take the mouse X and the mouse Y coordinates and we're going to divide them to make sure that he goes into the middle. For the moment there's not going to be any movement, he's not going to look like he's walking to it, he's just going to teleport to it, but we can make that different in the future. Now to do this we're going to make a new object um, it's going to be called object controller it's not going to have a sprite and it's not going to be visible um, the point of this is just to be there so we need to add him in object controller but for the most part he's not going to do very much he's just going to be there um, he's going to well he's going to do a lot in code wise but he's not going to change much in the room he's just going to coordinate all the um, units and mouse clicks and make everything seem all good so the events we only need one for the time being we'll need some more later but for the moment we need mouse global left pressed and what we're going to add as a description is clicking on a tile we're not going to add our own description here instead what we're going to do is we're going to take our mouse x and mouse y coordinates we're going to set them to a there a variable, a variable so we're just going to say mx equals mouse x for my equals mouse y now that's just to speed the process of this up um, it's relatively simple but um, it just makes it easy when, when typing so now what we want to do is we want to take those coordinates so let's just take an example I think that's probably the easiest way of doing it so let's say we click in this tile here okay um, this one we're gonna we want this coordinate here so we want anywhere within this tile to round to be right bang in the middle now the way we're going to do that is make sure we divide it right. Um, this could be interesting, but we'll give it a go to start with. We'll just mess around to, to begin with, um, and eventually we'll, we'll get it closer. We don't want var, we want div. Um, our div divides into whole numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the grid x and grid y. So grid x is 20. So we're going to say div 20. And we're going to make a new variable, var nmx which stands for new mouse x we're then going to do the same for the y but because the y is different in the room in this case it's 11 we're going to put 11 now while this could in theory work in my eyes there's a chance they'll go wrong because if we click here that's 0 0 div 0 0 is going to teleport to here He's going to teleport to, I believe, in between them. So we might have to add or minus some. But for the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to just change his uh, coordinates. So we're going to say width 
object basic unit x equals nmx y equals nmy okay so it's a really simple bit of code um, I don't think it'll work first time unfortunately um, yeah that's probably why um, because of course we also need to times it by whatever we divide it by um, I'll explain why in a minute um, once we've run it and check that it does kind of work properly um, yeah you can see it teleports kind of funny it's kind of peculiar um, kind of sometimes goes in the middle um, sometimes doesn't um, that's to do with the Y actually and the X they're, they're too much so we need to double these values so that's going to be 40 and that's going to be 22 we also need to double these 40 and 22 okay so why we times them again um, here is because say we've got um, say we're on the first tile this will come back as 1 um, dividing it by 40 uh, if it comes back as 1 then we just set the x to equal 1 we don't want the x to equal 1 we want the x to be in the middle of here so we need to put it 2 times back wherever we've divided it by in the first place so let's run this now I mean, and that's that's what I said might happen whereby it's slightly buggy um, to be honest it's not an incredibly well worked system um, it appears to be worn off most times um, but you, you can't well, that was you kind of get the gist of it he's kind of moving relatively where we want him to go um, in theory what we do now is go through and test it with different um, numbers um, without actually going in the game you can see there if I go up and down um, but realistically we don't have the time to do that in this video so what I'll do is work it out videos and work out how to make it actually go in the middle of these um, tiles uh, for the moment that kind of works um, basically I think to be honest it's always that one wasn't most of the time it's to the left that wasn't quite buggy. Uh, so I'll work that out properly for the next video. Um, I think for the moment uh, I'll just leave it like this because we don't have the time to thoroughly go through and test loads of different variables and loads of different numbers. Um, unfortunately, yeah that's definitely not right. So I'd leave it as is for the moment. You can mess around and try and fix it yourself of course. Um, that would be great um, but I'll try and fix it for the next video. Uh, up properly but you get the idea of what this is meant to do it's meant to add a little bit of movement um, just to let you move your units around it is moving around and what we'll do next after we've done this um, after we've polished off the movement is make him so it's smooth movement so he's gliding between the two maybe not gliding but marching let's say because of course it's meant to be a medieval uh, RTS kind of game but uh, Anyway, that was this RTS video. Not made masses of progress. We've kind of got the basis of code here down um, for the movement, but we'll refine it in the next video and add some extra bits then. Uh, but anyway, guys, that was the RTS video for this week. If you like the video, remember to like, subscribe. Always do what you guys want to do, and I will talk to you in the next one.